Okay guys, number three, let's check it out. So we've got a Venn diagram, a triple one, which shows three events, A, B, and C, with each of their respective probabilities, yeah? Now, according to this, according to this statement, it says the property of A, as in the whole of A, is 0 0.5. So we can say instantly that R plus S is 0 0.5, okay? That's basically everything in A. Property of B would be the same, would be S plus T plus P. That must be 0 0.6 because we, we're including the whole of property of B that occurs. And property C, as in P and Q, must equal 0 0.25. So P and Q is 0 0.25. We can also know a couple things. It says the events of B and C are independent. Okay. When they tell you this, this instantly refers to the statement that the property of B times the property C must equal the intersection point. So property of B times property of C equals uh, the intersection point, in this case P, yeah? Now, let's look at this one more time. So since we were, since we can we can already solve some things actually, we can see that the property B is 0 0.6 and C is 0.25. Let's smash down the calculator right now. So 0 0.6 times 0.25 will give you 0 0.15. So you can just replace P with 0 0.15. Okay, so just make it easy for yourselves, yeah? Now, <laughs> since we've got 0 0.15, we can work out Q. Because the whole of C must be 0 0.25. We have 15. There's obviously 10 left over. So 0 0.10. <coughs> Alright, so that's good. Let's try and find the rest of them. So we also have the 0 0.08 here. So always make sure you want to know like, what's exactly outside the vents. If there's 8% outside, meaning all of this must equal 92, 0 0.92. So let's make that sum here. So we've got R plus S plus T plus well, P and Q. So now we've got P and Q, which is 25. And all of this must equal 0 0.92. So just doing some quick math, subtracting 25 across, we should get um, a, uh, 67, yeah? So we can say R plus S plus T equals 0 0.67. Okay, so far so good. Now, what can we do from here? So here we just go do some, you know, just solve this simultaneously. So we need R, S, and T. So if we just look in the first set of equations, the property A1 especially, we can see that R and S automatically get 0 0.5. So these two is 0 0.5. So now we've got 0 0.5 plus T is 67. So subtracting 0 0.5 across, we should get 0 0.17. Easy. And again, the whole of B we know equals 0 0.6. So sum these up and subtract it from 0.6. So you've got 17 plus 15. 16 minus answer will give us 28. So it's S is 0 0.28. And of course, R is the same thing. The whole of A equals 0 0.5 or 50. 50 take away 28 will give us 22. So 0 0.22. Easy stuff, guys. Very easy. So that'll be A, B, and C done. Now, D is an interesting one. It says state giving a reason whether or not the independence A and B, whether or not the events A and B are independent. So just like the definition for B and C, we need to check if the probability of A times the probability of B will give us 0 0.28, will give us the intersection point between them. This is the intersection point. So go ahead and smash these two values in your calculator. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.6. And what do we get? Well, we get 0 0.30. And the problem with this one now is the fact that um, <laughs> it's the answer should have been 0 0.28. So the answer would be, so it would be, no, it doesn't equal 0 0.28. So it is not independent. Okay. Now, final question. So find the property B given that we have the union of A and C. So with these given that questions, always look at the, the, the given that part. So A and C means we, we only include the whole of A and the whole of C. Meaning for the whole Venn diagram, we can ignore every other value that is in, in, the, in A and C. So this means now our total sphere that we're interested in is going to be everything in A over everything in C. So that, that is so far the total overall probability. Okay. However, we want to find the, the B part in all of them. So the B part occurs here and here. So this means that the probability for that happening would be the sum of the B part over all of the rest that I've circled. So in other words, to solve this probability, it will be B over the total probability. So the, so the B part is 0 0.28 and 0 0.15. Put down your calculator. 
So 28 and 15, you usually get 0 0.43. And now the total probability is everything that we care about. We, we only care about A union C. So all of A and all of C. So all of A is 0 point, is, is 22, 28, and all of C is 15, 10. So add all these up, and that'll be what goes underneath. Okay, so that's, it's basically like a collection of, so because there's always going to be a new reduced probability. That's how the given that system works. We ignore everything that's not included in the given that. 17 here was included, 8 was included, so you can see the property is reduced. So yeah, let's put that in. So we've got 5, 25. So you should get 75 underneath. And that's it, guys. If you put this in a calculator, well, <laughs> you get 43 over 75. And that's it. I believe um, that's the end of the question.